Hello, McWarriors! How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we are playing, of course, a bunch of new missions. And I want to start a build on our Perseus that we got the last time. And I have an idea. I want to do one thing here, because I haven't really done it yet in this patch and uh, kind of playthrough right now. I want to play around with a bit more mines, because I believe they are actually quite strong in this patch. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over here to our support weapons, and we're going to add all the mines to that thing. As many as possible, we have a Mine Dispenser 20, two Mine Dispenser 15, and then three Mine Dispenser 10. And that's gonna be good. Our support weapon, hashtag support weapons, are gonna be, first of all, Attack Barrage, because I want to. I just want to make this a big area denial mech. And then, because we can, I'm gonna add an Arrow 4 to the deal, and then it's gonna be cool. Bear with me, guys. This is gonna be awesome. We also have an MRM. Um, where is that thing? An MRM-20 that I want to fuel with improved ammo. So let's go ahead and do that. One ton of improved ammo, which brings 200 shots and plus 2 accuracy, which is nice. So we can shoot 10 alpha strikes, but I think 10 is a little bit much on the edge here. So we're gonna add another half ton of improved ammo so we can have 15 alpha strikes with that MRM-20. Of course, we need some arrow ammo. And that arrow ammo is gonna be, first of all, regular ammo and then one bin of guided ammo. That guided ammo is going to be cool because we have a plus one accuracy, a plus one evasion ignore, and then one more direct fire accuracy. So this thing is going to make big explosions happen. Problem of regular ammo, ammo by the way, is that it destroys mines in a 5 hex radius. So we got to be careful with not shooting the regular ammo and the uh, mines at the same time. But I think uh, I think we can, we can actually get things done here. So let's get the second bin in. Uh, but again, yeah, we need Artemis. Lucky for us, we have a fire control system advanced in here. But that's not a good one. I want the other one. This one here gives breaching shot, offensive push accuracy, and 20% negative chance for a jam. Which is fine, you know, it also improves the cold shot modifier bonus of 20. But I have something better than that. We have the Mark II fire control system, which gives us also breaching shot, but then one evasion ignored and plus one gunnery, which is better for what we do here. We don't really do offensive pushes with that thing. Not yet, at the very least. We might be able to go for a, let's say, a guided arrow... Um, guided arrow headshot build at some point. We will see about that. So, another thing that I need to add now is a battle computer Artemis. Um, I could have gone with just regular Artemis, but I really like the breaching shot ability. I mean, a guided arrow as a single weapon? That's pretty cool. We can also add a battle computer heat here for 10% negative heat generated, but bear with me, guys. Those mines are single use only, and they are quite hot. So that's uh, 12 heat from the 20, that is another 18 from the 15s combined, so we have 30 heat already here, and then that is a 6, so that is 18. We have uh, 48 heat build up once, and then the mines are done, and we cannot use them anyway. So. That already is uh, is enough to, you know, just fire them once. We get to a certain heat threshold, but then we will be super cool. Which means uh, we certainly don't need any more heat management right now. In fact, I believe that I can actually lose a little bit. So, guided ammo is now allowed thanks to Artemis, which is nice. And um, there was one more thing. Oh, yeah. Um, support systems, guys. We have some electronics. We have some room in this mech, which is great. That means uh, we could either add more lasers maybe to actually get some additional damage out like these um these medium lasers here which kind of cripples our heat management completely um or we're gonna add another electronics in there so both of it is viable but i think you know what we don't need more damage output we have that arrow and an mrm and the mines and again this is a test this is a test build i want to see what the mines can do and then i'm probably gonna rip the mines out and put something more reasonable in there but i wanted to have it done uh, at once one point i think what we're gonna be doing is uh, an angel ecm because that thing gives us a five jam in a 200 meters radius 240 meter radius that thing is amazing we'll take that Gonna jam all of our enemies. And with that, we have half a ton left over that we're gonna invest into our back armor here, into our back armor here, and our back armor here. Actually, something like that. And I think we're good to go. That seems to be... Oh, no, we're not good to go. We need better sensors. Although, a slick suite is actually quite nice because it gives us plus one initiative for everybody and plus one tactics and piloting. We could go for a recon sensor, which gives us an even better jammer, but I think... No, no, this is our support build here, so let's go with that. What we do need is a... Wait, no, those were the jammers. I want the recon. Bam. Uh, powered sensors. Powered sensors are even better. Better. 
I'll take the powered sensor. And then in terms of cockpit, that's the thing. We could also go for a comm suite, which gives us plus three resolve gain per action, as well as uh, plus one tactics. So between slick and comm, it's actually quite even, I would say. Both of them are definitely have their benefit. The higher resolve enables us to go for more um, vigilance and, and call shots. But this here gives us initiative, which is also pretty good. I think I'm going to go with that. Guys, we have a Perseus. And because it's an Omnimac, we don't even have to wait for so long to build it. And that's super, super cool. So I want to see how it performs on the battlefield. And then I think I'm going to also phase out my hunchbacks at this point. And with that being said, we can take a lot of stuff from the hunchbacks and put it into the Perseus when it's, uh, when it's done. So here we go. Let's take a look at the command center. We have a bit of a money problem right now. 15,000 C bills, it's not much. Let's see if we can get something like a nice ambush convoy. Seems good, actually. Ah, four scale battle is too much already. Capture base is also doable. It's too high. It's too high, guys. That's a lot of money. But that's a lot of money and salvage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Let's ambush a convoy and play against the Capellans. Let's do it. So, this is gonna be interesting, especially since, uh, I don't know, do we have the weight? Not entirely sure here. Get the Perseus online. We have the weight, we can do that. Oh, I can also put the Drillson back? Wait a second. Okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I need King Wolf on another mech. I think I want Skyros on the Perseus. I mean, King Wolf is trained on the Hunchback, so that's pretty cool. And I think the Drillson is maybe now too much? Who knows? I need somebody who is able to drive a vehicle and that might be Big Sly. Yeah, we can do it, can we? That's amazing! So we even have one open slot and a bit of tarnish left, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead and drop. So currently we are basically using all of our assets that we have at hand, minus the Mongoose, which is just sitting there and chilling and doing nothing right now, because I bought that thing for a potential Solaris match, league, league match at some point. Alrighty guys, let's ambush that convoy. That's gonna be interesting, especially since we have the mines that we can just drop into the path of the convoy and just deny, or not even deny them, but make them run through because they have that de de designated path that they will just follow. And we're gonna drop the mines there, make everybody go boom and have a good time. At the very least, that's the plan. I hope it works. I'm actually quite excited about that. And yeah, it has, I mean, this Perseus has, I think, anti-air targeting as a quirk, which means we ignore one evasion, which actually means we should really put direct firing weapons into that thing, because it's uh, it's very accurate in general, because of this thing. So, it reduces, when the enemies have moved, it reduces the uh, difficulty to hit by two, because each evasion pip is a two difficulty rating. And we also have the targeting computer, which helps us reducing even one more. So, even if our enemies move by two, we have basically a perfect hit chance, depending on what else they have, like uh, an EWS, stealth, high ground, forest, uh, other effects. But again, evasion is not that big of a deal on a mech like that. This is also one of the reasons why our Orion is also so accurate, because it has kind of the same, same similar setup. Interface initiated. So we are supposed to drop here in the water, which is the worst. We are not doing that. This is the denial zone. This is where our convoy is. Let me see if I can just drop here on the denial zone. Ooh, I cannot. That's not cool. Can we drop behind it? Oh no. Ah, I thought I could drop right in the way. It's not possible. On this island? Okay, I can go on this island. Is that better? Oh, wait a second. Does it mean they're already kind of halfway there? Because I can drop, like, right here. It was, it was possible for a second. Now it's not anymore. <laughs> no, I broke it. Right, I'm gonna go for this kind of water space here. Um, need to make sure that I'm not dropping on a, um, on a dead zone. I think that's it. I think this is where we drop. And it seems somewhat safe, so let's deploy. And I mean, we have some fast mechs that can just follow up and get the frontliners. Okay, here we are. Tell me where my enemies are sitting. The hell? Ready for action, Commander. Cool. Okay, that's a Sunder. 
<laughs> nice blocky model. I like it. Very old school. And we have also a Black Hawk. Not bad. That's a Nova Hero. I think. Mm, then there's... Where's the convoy, actually? Thought they were coming from, like, here. Oh, there they are! Good to know. Let's see what they bring. So, Hunchback, Locust, Owens. Nice. These convoy guys are actual mechs. The bandit, dervish pirate. Good to know. All right. Let's reserve all of this. There is no need for us to do anything right now. I want them to go into a certain spot. And then I want to see if I can drop some mines on them. All right. Here comes the Sunder. Yeah. Dropping big, big guns on us. Very interesting. Is there anything else? I don't know. I'm holding. No, that was my drop zone down there. Don't you dare destroy my red kite. That thing is actually quite good. So, let's see. Who else? A fire starter. Probably not even shooting this round. Nope. And then we have another fire starter. Oh, did I see that wrong? Was that another fire starter? I don't know. I think, yeah, it is an Omni fire starter and a fire starter 9S. Good to know. 5N hunchback and then the bandit. Sure. Let them give the, um let us give them their turn. And I think now it's time for the mines. Man, I'm so happy that I have this <laughs> all the evasion here. Alrighty. So who is on the Perseus? Let me quickly check again. Is it that one? It's Skyros. So turn eight is where we want to go. Mm. Come on. I know I'm I'm hesitating so much right now, but I wanna initiate with him. Oh boy, and it's gonna be so good. Hello, enemies. So, how do we... That's how we... Yeah. <laughs> Dropping all the mines. I hope in one spot. Maybe I'm just... You know what? Maybe I'm just attacking the ground. If they let me. They let me. They let me do that. Alright, alright, alright. All right, Here come the mines! Oh god, that scatter. And, of course, we have a barrage coming in. Um, I just hope it does something. Cool. That's a big minefield. I wonder how much damage they take. Orders. This could be actually quite good, or it could be really bad. Um, Sure, let's go ahead and sprint. I should not shoot any PPCs in that region, because that'll destroy the mines as well. Do I want the Owens first? Maybe the Firestarter Omni? That thing had some MRMs. Actually, let's go with the highest hit chance. This is gonna be LRMs, LK. It says one. What does the one mean? That means I, I need to know what this is now. There's something going on. Oh yeah, and I cannot sensor lock them in the first turn because that's not allowed. Cool. Let's go. I copy. That's solid damage output. So we also have have them detected. Brings us to our melee guy. I am just sprinting, I'm not gonna enable anything, but I definitely want to shoot here. Let's go and shoot the most weapons possible. Which is actually, again, all of that. F -f -f fire We got him plasma. Not bad. That's 30 heat. Cool. Next up is Strider on the Hunchback. Hunchy power against the enemy Hunchy. Actually, I should probably shoot somebody else. Since the Hunchback is currently guarded and is not taking all the damage that I wanted to take. So what about... This fire starter actually fired at us. And there's another barrage coming down. We can shoot SRMs. Yeah, looks good. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. So this is huge area denial that we have now. I don't think it's the second barrage will hit anything. Since it's uh, placed very far behind, but still, it should be doing something. And then again, the fire starter once more with a max shot, with not infernos, but LK and everything else. Here we go. Take that, mister. But wait, there's more. Oh, the headset only gets a two sprint. It's a sprint of three. It's all the way on the front. Hmm, worth it? I don't know. We have more mines, though. Oh, oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> this is gonna be great. 
let's dispense some more mines. Let's um, drop it right there, hopefully. More mines is good. I'm out of FRM. That's fine. So, Mr. Decker, where do you go, buddy? Do you go in the back of somebody? We could. We could do that. Seven. Six. Ah, it's an indicator of how many... Uh, ah, how many evasion you get. Yeah, you know, you have a number now. Which is a, a bit of quality of life. I like it. That's good. Can go in the back of the Owens. I think I'll do it. Seven evasion is Roger that. solid. We can certainly go in here. So, hello, friends. How are you doing? Also, what's your active ability? We don't see it. Anyway, fire everything you have. Firing. Full compliment on enemy. I mean, it's just an Owens. It doesn't have much. Uh, huh? Speaking of having things, um, we certainly... Yeah, we go over here, trying to Heading intercept that in that spot. And we're gonna shoot the fire starter once more. It's not much that we have here, but it's something. Lighting them up. And every point of damage counts. I just want to give them that turn, by the way. Yes, Commander. This is so cool. All of the damage that we are hopefully, hopefully doing here yeah, with the mines. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. All right, so we go for not the Owens. No, no, no. I want the fire starter. There we go. 35% with dead fire, 40 on standard. I think that's definitely a dead fire turn, and we go Warlord as well, so we can hit a bit better even. And we're gonna shoot all the machine guns. Got it, Commander. Yeah, all right, he's uh, he lost evasion, but that's it. Ready for orders. No criticals or anything. Anyway, here we go. Let's drop him. It's just that's just a kill. Is it worth it? Do we just kill the Owens? Yeah. Here it comes. Almost killed the Owens. Inflicted Almost. Some heavy damage. But also made him unsteady, and he is uh, turn 21, which means he's probably gonna act before we can act, because our initiative is... That was 25 on the Atlas. We have no 21. No. Okay. So he's gonna move again. But, you know, we almost got him. Locus taking 27 damage. Uh, 27 mines exploded. I think each mine deals 2 damage or so. That's insane. Yeah, this guy also didn't move that far because as soon as you're moving over mines and you get internal damage, you stop moving. So good. Ah, that Blackhawk is running a Gauss. Okay, so I think our Orion has a target now. Gotta do it. Cool thing about this, they are kind of stuck in the minefield because of the damage and that means that the barrage will do a lot of work. Tastes like burning? Oh crap. Oh, oh crap. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that? Reporting heavy damage. Ooh, 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 74 wow. rocket launcher. All right, that's a pirate bandit with a lot of heat. That's bad. Oh my god. Whoa. Mr. Sunder. Double snub, double streak, LB10. He got my, uh, he got my tank and he got him good. Uh, fair enough. Heading that way. I just hope that we can resalvage that thing. Um, we're gonna shoot that guy now. Let's get the Black Hawk of the battlefield. He is about to collapse, by the way. Ah, uh, 47. 100 damage against the Hunchback. That forehand shot his AC20. And we got hit good. So, what about King Wolf? Ready for orders. Secondary Hunchback. Actually... I will move back, on the move. and I will uh, continue on the Blackhawk, because I am scared of that Gauss rifle. Let's go. The other guys can just walk through the mines anyway. Alright, didn't quite get it. Yep, the Atlas is doing the job, just tanking. Minimal damage on that hit. They did not move, right? Didn't move that far, at the very least. Skyros. Um, yeah, here's the thing. I don't actually want to drop um, an arrow in there because it will destroy the mines. We're going to move backwards Orders. and we're going to deal with the Black Hawk and we're going to deal with the arrow. Indirect. Direct. We cannot shoot it. Why? Minimum range? 
Flag. Why can we not shoot the arrow? Can I only drop it on the on the floor, or what? what how does it work? Maybe it has a minimum range. Minimum 180. We are probably not there. No. That's kind of funky. Guided direct shot. Not possible. What, what do we need? <laughs> Almost got the knockdown. I need to check that out, guys. Something is wrong with my arrow. Comes to starter fires. 30 lined mines exploded yet again. Open legs. It's perfect. I'm receiving you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, next up, next up, next up is going to be. Actually, I will sprint. Will I sprint back? No. Doesn't make sense right now. Want to get a lot of evasion? Four is okay, but we will be in front of this guy. Not great. I can shoot the hunchback. I don't want to get into my own mines. So. Speaking of area denial, <laughs> that's a lot. Is five enough? I hope that five is enough. On my way. Let's see, scooting around with Mr. Drillson. We are running also through a spore cloud, which gives us a very high uh, defense afterwards. See how you like this. So we almost got the locust. But again, it's always an almost. Ready for orders. It's never confirmed. So, for that reason, helicopter goes here, trying to finish off the Blackhawk, or at the very least, uh, disarm him or disleg him. That's what we're gonna try. Confirmed. That's a Gauss rifle on that arm. Alright, so he is legged. That hit something good. Or is the Gauss rifle on the other arm? Yeah, I think on the Blackhawk, it's the left arm that carries the Gauss. Not the right one. But that's okay, we have a pilot injury, next round he's dead. Stir Rider. Good to go. Sprint for two is not much. On my way. But Double I guess point. we gotta do it. There's one fire starter who's at the brink of death, correct? Like this guy. Let's go for it. Target acquired. No. Target's taking a critical hit. Alright. Waiting for orders. Uh, brings me to T-Bone. Yet again, time. running through the field. And this time we can actually get a little bit of heat. That is so good. I think this is exactly how we play it. Hmm. He was running a retractable blade, that fire starter. Interesting. So let's see what the barrage can do. Let's do this. Didn't quite kill. Oh, the legs, though. The legs are so damaged. I love it. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Commander? You know what? I think if I enable my supercharger, I can maybe, maybe even push that dude. We are one, one, one thing short here. Okay, okay, okay. Certainly don't want to run through 83 mines. That's not a thing. I will sprint away. That's what we do. Into the water so we can shoot. And then we're gonna go for the fire starter again. This time with more flamers and basically an alpha strike. Firing everything I've got. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, what's that? So that brings me back to Mr. Basilisk. I think I have to take the hunchback out or one of these guys. Probably one of these guys. I think my hunchbacks can easily kill the Black Hawk. Yeah, I need my accuracy Heading somewhere that else. Way. That is gonna be this fire starter now. Lighting them up. Shouldn't have shot the PPC. My bad. Something just went boom. I think I destroyed some of my mines now, maybe. Yes, Commander. Uh, as I was saying, hunchbacks are gonna go over here, gonna try to kill that Nova, the Black Hawk, into, into the center directly. Roger that. I think we don't have the time to fiddle around. We gotta do it. Good. And then there's still that assault make on the right side, so there's uh, there's some value on this Here mission. Go. Decker, it's gonna it's gonna go back. All right, Decker. This bandit is also a problem. Anyway, 
I want him to be as evasive as possible, so he's constantly flanking back and forth. Go for the fire starter, please. Thank you. Buy everything. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Alrighty. On hostile reinforcements. More mechs to kill. Come on. Bring it on. And down he goes. Perfect. We have the reinforcements. Uh, all the way in the back with the leg. Cool. Good to know. Whose turn is it now? It's turn 21. It's the Locus. He's trying to move. Is he gonna get legged? I don't know. We will see about that. Seven landmines exploded. It's not. Not enough. Not right. Alright, so that brings me to Mr. Sky Rose. Ah, now I can shoot my arrow. So there has to be something about the range. I think I was just under my minimum range. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Alright. Let's back up a little bit. Get my two evasion. And we're gonna drop the arrow on this guy. With um, a guided shot. Direct. Absolutely. And then improved MRMs. I got Take the arrow! Nice. Target that kills the Blackhawk. Good, good, good. Standing by. Okay, Atlas Schmatlas. Atlas Schmatlas is... We have two targets here. First of all, the Bandit. The Bandit is... Um, is very dangerous because of the rockets that he brings to the table. And then there's also the Hunchback that just has an AC-20. And I cannot move this round. Alright, so... Uh, that guy has two evasion or something. We're gonna try to shave it off with a sensor lock. Let's see if that works. Sensors locked on. Negative one. Always good. Never bad. And then we're gonna drop not acid but LK. Let's see. Aye, aye. I think we got him. <laughs> Take that, Mister. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, Sunder is running. Sunder is not shooting this round. It's so perfect. Mm, and that also allows us to use our Hunchback to, to do a counter move against the other Hunchback, correct? Are we even doing that? I think we do. Let's go. Through the Spore Cloud. Into the Hunchback. There's a chance that we actually get it done. I'm taking that. Structure exposed. Ah, no crit on the AC. I'm here. But I know somebody who can follow up. Could even go through 300 mines. I don't know if that's a good idea. That's where I want to be. Perfect. Understood. Moving fast. Okie dokie. This is all. This is highest hit chance possible because we are not here for the damage. We are here for a potential crit chance, and therefore shoot all the machine guns and Cry hope to it. get the AC-20 out. We got the AC-20 out. This just in. Okay, so we are actually getting ahead of the power curve, big time. Now what? Turn 13. He's punching! That's a hunch punch! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and lasers? No. That's a knockdown on our side though. Nice charge attack, I gotta say. Didn't expect that to happen. But he got some damage in. Good. Good for him. Good to go. I mean, bad for us. Yeah, supercharger off. It's uh, an easy turn here. We're gonna just go for a sword attack. And we drop, I'd say, all of this. Actually, we can drop the flamers. We kill him anyway. Let's go. Ordinance received. And that's a kill. Perfect. Gotcha. And then, of course, the flamers on top of that. Alrighty. Enemy down. Now what? Another turn 27. Uh, who is turn 27? It is the Locust's turn. He has a medium laser and the machine gun. And very damaged legs. Holy macaroni. We don't need much here. Still hits us though. So there is gonna be a little bit of a repair cost included. Great. Standing by. And we have enemies coming from the back. A stealth, a spider. Nasty guys. Ooh, do we take that shot? I think we take that shot. Yeah. 
Also trying to get away from the backstabbers a bit. And uh, that's it. Taking the shot. Plain backstrike. No criticals though. Yes, Commander. I know somebody who is very eager to fix that. And that's Mr. Decker in his helicopter. Man, Decker on the red kite is so cool. I like it. It's just the interceptor that can just rush in wherever he's needed. Here it comes. And help out with his uh, lasers. That's an engine crit. Solid connection on that one. Good. So a bit more missiles or something. Uh huh? Yeah, just like that. Heading that way. That has to be a kill. Lighting them up. Interesting. I do believe we destroyed the engine. Back destroyed. That might be good salvage here. All right, so turn on the 20. It's a spiderling shooting my... What the hell? What kind of a spider are you? That was a large pulse laser rocket spider, huh? Waiting for orders. Man, my hit chance is garbage. Um, but I think I want to face those guys. What else would I do? I Let's go, 24%, uh, 30. I'll take the 32. Or maybe we just shoot standard ammo for a nice, um, you know. I'll take the spider here with the sensor lock. We should have a chance uh, for a nice splash AOE. Uh, yeah, 48 seems pretty good. I'm gonna shoot guided for the pinpoint. Let's go. Locked on target. I do not think that we hit a... No, we didn't hit it. That was unfortunate. Who's next? More missiles coming from the backstabbers, so there was something more. Alright, got it. And we have our attack barrage ready Thank soon again. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, anyway, Mr. Atlas. Mr. Atlas. I have the feeling I don't need to do anything there. Might as well go... And shoot the backliners. Confirmed. I'm gonna shoot the frontliners here. Let's go with the fire starter. Let's shoot everything but the MML so that they don't jam and we can cool down a bit. And it's somehow a crit. It wasn't the crit that I wanted or the, the kill that I wanted with the leg, but it was a kill nonetheless. Okay. You are also pretty fast. I think you should really start intercepting. I'll race ya. I know that we are not really able to shoot anything here, but already getting them over is a good idea. 13%. Affirmative. That's a miss. I also see the next thing, which is a uh, Shayusiu. Didn't hit. Shayusiu? How do you say that? I have no idea. I don't know what that is. We will figure it out though. So, double turn 16. So, one is the stealth, and then there is. I don't know. What else is left? That's a PPC on the stealth. Yeah, it's just very hard to hit enemy because of the stealth armor that it brings to the table. Okay. So yeah, I mean the Perseus is getting a bit of damage, but overall it's very minimal and very splashy. You gotta get up again though. Come on, Strider. You will probably just kill the bandit here. Not even moving. Oh, we have to move. Okay. I guess we're gonna decide on what we can hit. We can hit. <laughs> okay, here we go. So technically we are done with the ambush. But there are still some enemies to kill so that we can get out of here. I don't want to bring all of my people there. I want to keep fighting. Do I want to give the Locust another chance to hit? I'd say no. I'd say we go over here and uh, try to hit the Anansi. It says 46%. Will it change? As soon as we're here? Because we are jammed or something? Yeah, a little bit. 39. Still good enough. Oh, and maybe we can actually un uh, not un, but uh, destabilize him. That would be good. Sure. Ah, let's go. 
We keep him supercharged so he can uh, move a bit faster. Then we're gonna shoot basically everything except for the lowest hit chance weapon and kill the locust. Affirmative. Nothing? Oh, we hit the center mostly and not the legs. I thought it was done. It wasn't. So he has, in fact, another chance to hit us. Oh no. Miss? Yeah, I mean, this guy is trained for melee and evasion. But is the Locust now getting knocked? No, but he's unstable. Uh, Alright. What's that? Good, good. Heading that way. So, it's time to get these nasty stealthers out of here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Warlord on that so that we have a bit of a higher hit chance. Let's go with that. And fire! Lighting them up. Still not good enough, but he's now destabilized. Receiving you. Which brings me to King Wolf on the Hunchback. Sure, the Hunchbacks, they need to get close. There's no way around that. Uh-huh. Man, I hope we can get him before he can get another turn out. And also seems like we only have to destroy the reinforcements here. Yeah, everybody else is down, except for the Locust. Okay. I mean, we, we have a bit of armor on the red kite, but not the most. Well, well, well. Hmm. Good to go. Skyros on the arrow. Gonna keep moving forward, gonna keep his stride. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a standard ammo here. Because I want uh, the remaining stability damage to just knock him down. And a bit of splash damage around him as well. And the tag barrage. Target acquired. Boom goes the arrow. That's a knockdown. And the barrage. Reporting. But yeah, guys, what do you think about the mines? Uh, leave a comment down below, because I am not sure if that was great, if that was amazing, or if that was complete garbage. I think we have to play another mission to actually confirm and get some more experiments out here. But uh, against those light mags, the mines were quite devastating to their legs. But but that's it. I mean, it's, it's interesting as area denial, but it's kind of not dealing direct damage. And sometimes um, focused fire is just better than... Just laying mines around and then just hiding again. No, I like the brute force attempt and not the guerrilla tactics. Uh, interesting. What do we shoot here? I, th I think we're gonna try to kill the Anansi now. Although we have a very good hit chance on the other guy as well. No Hydras. This is LK for a listen kill, which means we have plus one accuracy. And we got him crit. Enemy down. Great. Next up is Strider. Mm, yeah, I mean, she has one job, and that is kind of Roger. following up, securing the back, and killing the Locust. Roger. Locust has been killed. One less target. Okie dokie, big sly. Yeah, that's what I was um, actually aiming for. Going in here. Getting a hit chance. What's the best we can get, though? 23. 23. I think I want unobstructed line of sight, which was here, which gives us also 23. All right. Oh, and we're staying in this field of uh, spores, kind of hiding there, obstructing the enemy's vision with that. And this is just a snapshot. There's nothing, nothing big happening here. Tiny bits of damage, but damage nonetheless. Turn 15. What's the Valkyrie? It's not the Valkyria, right? So a Valkyrie is a smaller mech. It's not a 55 ton Shadowhawk variant. No, I don't think so. And then this thing. I have no idea what it does, what it is, what it is capable of, and how dangerous it might be. Interesting. Good to go. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and supercharge all of this again. Let's bring the melee mech to the melee front. And I think we're gonna just take the road, so we are Double time. Uh, not really obstructing our own movement with water. And of course, we wanna try, try to stay hot, which we do. It's perfect. Right, Commander. It's okay if we don't hit here, but I wanna keep that um, TSM you. on the mech muscles. In the meantime, Mr. Decker, yeah, Mr. Decker is going backstabby, and he's gonna try to get the Valkyrie. I copy. Good hits! 
I like it. Some I need damage. another one of those so that they can work in tandem and get more damage out. Orders. That was so cool. Uh, yep. Aye, aye. Atlas has a good shot here. Atlas has an actual good hit chance. And we will also go with a sensor lock to actually amplify it. Hopefully. Got a lock. Maybe he is immune, but he is not. So that'll help. And we're gonna shoot LRMs here. Not Hydras. Boom! Headshot! He must be, yeah, I wanted to say, he must be down to one. <gasps> Alright. This is, by the way, why I don't like Gauss rifles for uh, headshot builds, because the 75 damage of the Gauss will be reduced by 20% when somebody is standing in the forest, which will happen a lot. That means uh, it is reduced by 15 points, which in return means that the damage is reduced to 60, and the regular cockpit has 45 armor and 16 structure, which is 61. So a Gauss rifle alone with somebody who is either guarded or in the forest is not enough to kill. Therefore, hyper lasers or bombast lasers, anything that is beyond 75 damage. 80 damage is perfect. 100 damage, super good. Even more, sure, take it. But a Gauss alone is not enough. And this is also why I don't like PPCs for headshotting, because they are even lower in damage output. But anyway, that was a great shot. I like it. Going full throttle. All right, let's go in with the Hunchback. Uh, that should be a kill, hopefully. Let's make it so. Let's also use Vigilance, because we can. A bit of higher initiative next round wouldn't hurt. Okay. Yeah, Commander. By the way, when I say this is a kill, I mean, this guy is not gonna do anything anymore, because uh, the power that we have now um, to unleash on them. Punched out. All right. So, we have no targets anymore. We gotta do something about it. Let them come close, and let them do something. So, what's he doing? Pulse lasers, that's what he's doing. Got it. Reporting, minimal damage. Orders. Mm-hmm. I mean, a thing that we can always do is this here. Indirect shot, standard arrow. We don't even have to hit properly. Firing on target. Boom. All right, bit of damage. Eh, it's something. I await your command. And ideally, I want to end up in the back of the Valkyrie. Unobstructed. It's not much that we need. Look at that. The Citro also is about to pop. And we have a lot of splash damage here. Okay. Standard ammo, machine guns, large laser, Warlord. Very important. Cranking up the hit chance a little bit. Fire. Punching all the buttons. Again, here I'm going with the... Lower damage, but higher accuracy, so map, that I can just kill him. Let's he didn't go. need much anymore. Uh, what's that? Heading that way. How do we kill this guy, though? Lighting him up. I don't think he's doing us the favor of coming close unless we bring a Decker back. But then there is also Mr. Big Sly here. Uh, so this guy has two good targets. That's what I'm talking about. That he might just shoot now. Let's give him a turn and see what's happening. I mean, currently we are very evasive, and we might... I'm sorry, hiccup. Um, we might be able to get in his back now. Ready for orders. All right, I'll take it. Man, I'm getting this hiccup now. That's kind of bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's a hit chance. I'll take it. Confirmed. So it is a medium mech with two medium poles, one ER medium, another medium pulse laser, I and an LRM. LRM-5. So yeah, three medium poles, two ER mediums, and an LRM-5. Solid build. Uh, Commander? Nothing too crazy, but also respectable. So, more lerms, because that's the only thing we have. Got it. Do we even shoot here? Is it worth the animation time? I don't think so. Negative damage. At a 4% hit chance, you might as well not shoot at all. But hey, cool thing is, the Hunchback is coming in. And we also go, again, uh, go Vigilance. Commander? Skyros, stand and shoot? 6%. I want to check something. Roger that. Um, oh, first of all, what about a sensor lock? Does it help us? And if yes, how? I've got a sensor lock. It's 19 now. Still not enough. I'm gonna drop the arrow, hopefully on his head. Something happened. Oh no, I couldn't see where the impact was. Commander? Uh, anyway. 
moving fast. So the Valkyrie on the road with a supercharger active and hot seat. Super cool. Um, and we also need to attack the ground so that we keep the hot seat online. Uh, not the plasma, but the pulses. Something like that. Tell me what to shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Let's go. Basilisk, same problem. Uh, what's that? Absolute same problem. He needs to get closer in order to get direct line of sight. But hey, we have 20%. That's definitely worth the shooting. Ah, he's also guarded, so he's only taking 50% or even 40% damage. But not if we go in his back. Roger. Because there is where guarded doesn't matter. Acknowledged. And he's open. Orders. All right, guys, I think... There's a chance that we're going to get him now. There certainly is. With a bit of critical... Gotcha. Neck warriors. We did it! So I have the feeling that our sensor lock actually helped those two guys to open him up from behind and then just get the kill. Let's go home! Mission successful. Nice! So let's see where this is going, guys. The barrage is still here. Still with us in our minds. Cool. What do we take? I don't know, maybe some equipment for the Perseus for a proper build? I mean, arrows are nice, but they're also just nice and nothing else. Also, please uh, let us keep our drills in, that would be very good. There's an Owens, there's the Shayasu, or whatever that was. Spider, stealth parts, Sunder. Okay. Okay, it's a 90 ton. It's an Omni-90. Okay. It's an interesting Omni-90. It's Dreadnought, Resilience, can't touch this. Super stabil Superior Stabilization and a tuned engine. I am actually uh, interested in getting a 90-ton uh, Omni-Mac. That seems really good and very cheap to build. And also, it's, came, it's called Sunder and I instantly have ACDC in my head. <laughs> we might want to take that. So, what else do we have here? A handheld MRM-10. Kapow. Has 100 rounds, can shoot 10 times as a result. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a nice item. Bunch of pulses, sure. A snub nose PPC, another tag barrage. Battle Fist Mark III. Uh, gives us multiplayer for punch attack and stability damage, and that's it. So, I don't really want to punch. I have my sword, that's fine. But it's cool that you can build things like that. It's really nice. Chameleon, alright. Wasn't there also a retractable blade somewhere? I think we destroyed it on the fire starter, but it might have had another one on the other arm. Uh, XL engine, ballistic crit. Uh huh. So for LBXs and machine guns, that's interesting. Melee fire control system. Uh, we don't need that. We have a blood spot already, correct? Huh. If only I could go back and see my mechs now. Um, double heatsink, kit, it's good. Lots of jump jets, lots of jump jets. A proto double heatsink. We are still looking for stuff like that. I'm actually half tempted to take those Omni lowers so that we can build stuff into our Omni Max, as in the Perseus and maybe the, the Sunder to have plus one free accuracy on on the arms. That's actually quite good to have. Um, there is also a sniper sensor, which is also a very good item. Talons! Look at that! 10% multiplier to kick, more stability for kicks, death from above multiplier, 25%, nice! And more stability damage. Doesn't give us any accuracy for death from above though, and that's still the biggest problem of, um, of death from above. At the same time, I haven't tried death from above in the current melee uh, patch scenario. Maybe they made it a bit more accurate and as a result a bit more viable. I don't know. That would be cool. I really want to build something like that. Also, by the way, uh, when you kick, the damage will go to the legs on the enemies. So, just going for roundhouse kicks all the time makes it so that you can actually maintain some salvage and uh, kind of go for more knockdowns because you just sweep the legs multiple times. Kicks are actually quite interesting when you think about it. And then you also have the ability to go death from above. These talons are actually quite good, man. And then there's ammunition. That's a difficult choice, guys. Do we want Talons? But our mech is good as it is. It has that sword that's super handy. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. 
That means we are not picking parts, because I didn't see any good ones. I only saw some that would give us money. <laughs> yeah, sure, we have none right now. Mm, but even if I take the mech and the side against it, because I don't see what engine it's running right now. And, and um, yeah, the mech is worth way more than we have here on the battlefield anyway, or on the salvage screen anyway. We're going to take a look at the Sunder, then we're going to decide if we want to keep that, and maybe we sell it. Maybe we sell it for the financial report, maybe we keep it. We get a part of a Dervish, of a Firestarter Omni, the Firestarter 9S. Um, we get a part of everything here, basically. <laughs> the handheld MRM, alright, I'm actually eager to play that. It's a cool thing. It's an actual really cool thing to have, because we are currently running um, less support slots, or we have open support slots that we can put that thing onto. So it's a nice additional weapon that doesn't build up heat. LBX, medium laser, armor. Excel engine, nice. Bunch of doubles and an Omnipod. Nice, Omni lower arm. I'm gonna also keep the C3. That was pretty good, man. That was really great. I'm super excited about seeing what we can do with the Sunder. So let's take a look at that. We dive into the mech bay and we're gonna build that thing together. And I just hope it comes with good equipment. I mean, it was running two snubs, two streak sixes, an LB10, and something else I forgot. It has decent damage output in close range uh, scenarios, which also means that I believe the engine is quite sizable in order for the mech to go into the position where it can shoot all of its weapon systems. Which I know, kind of is good for my playstyle. So, 90 ton Omni. Let's check it out. I just hope it runs an XL and I just hope it has kind of an Endosteel upgrade, because that's what you kind of need in order to put a lot of weapon systems in there. But the tonnage it brought to the table... I think it's XL without Endo, or Endo without XL. Alright, we're gonna build that thing. Hello! It's coming from a dra uh, from the dra Draconis Combine. Oh god, look at this guy. <laughs> Mr. Box Boy. Oh no. Alright, let's see. I should probably also change my camo pattern a bit, because I don't like this whole bright thingy anymore. It comes with, yeah, regular structure and an XL, as I predicted. And it's a 360 engine, so it is a quite sizable engine. However, it's good. It, it's good, guys. Absolutely good. We'll take it. And we can make a lot of stuff happen with that thing. Sure, the structure is a bit of a downside. But we have extended torso twist, 50% additional firing arc with ranged weapons. Nice! That is so cool. I like that quirk. That's really, really fun. The problem is we don't have the money. We don't even have it uh, closely. Um, that's what we need here, 600,000 seabills. It's not possible to start building on it. Uh, at the same time, one thing that um, some people said on the comment section and that I should really take into consideration is rebuilding them one by one. So, first of all, we're gonna strip all of the damaged ones and I can start replacing the legs. And then we're gonna replace the other things later. You know, just like that. So, investing a little bit of uh, money, a little bit of time, and uh, having our mech techs uh, working on it is, uh, again, the important thing about it here. I also think I want to put it on the front. Do I? Actually, no. No, it's not needed right now. I think we're gonna be playing it like that, but it doesn't really matter. Guys, that has been it for today. That was your episode of Rogue Take. Again, let me know what you think of the mines. Worth it? Yay? Nay? I don't know. Uh, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And please leave a like if you like the video. And then I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.